Brad on a kind of a crazy day for, with the trade and just what did it mean to you to end this losing streak? Well, I'm not, I'm not that concerned. I know, I mean, I, I want to win every single thing I do in life. Um, but I'm not as concerned about breaking the streak per se as just playing good basketball and playing tough basketball. That, that might be the first game we've won all year where we won it on the defensive end of the floor. And there's no argument yet because we couldn't get the right side of the barn. Um, you know, 35% from the field for the night. Um, they've done a really good job of increasing their pressure. And in the fourth quarter, they, they extended the pressure a little bit, got into us, and then, you know, when a guy like Novak gets in the game, you're scared to death because they look as a good one. Um, but I thought, for the most part, our guys were really, really, really tough-minded tonight. And I was pleased with that. There were only 10 guys available, and they were all 10 engaged, and you know, we went after it. Uh, all of the stuff that Jared has been through over the last month, um, how important was it to see this happen? He's the first Celtic since <coughs> Barnett to get a 2020 game. Yeah, I mean, he, he's got, he's obviously got that ability. Um, but those are hard to come by, no matter if you have that ability or not. Um, I'm proud because of the fact that, you know, we've been on a tough stretch. He got taken out of the lineup. He got put back in the lineup, and he got better after he got taken out of the lineup the first time. He, he responded the right way. Uh, you know, I think Bass has responded great. Uh, I feel like we've got a, a good connected group in there that's going to be the pride. Um, you know, we played ten pretty darn good teams in a row. Uh, we got 44 more in a row to go, so um, hopefully we can, you know, get get to shooting better and defend like this more often. Uh, Phil stepped into kind of a role tonight with Jordan having been moved. Um, how would you assess Phil Presley's kind of play? I thought he was terrific. I thought he was absolutely terrific. I thought when things got tough, he got tough. Um, I thought he tried to pull guys together. You know, sometimes sometimes when you go through some of these games that you've been through where we've lost leads, you know, the, the tension feels greater than it probably should. Um, and you just have to have guys and, and uh, you know, make toughness plays that break that tension. And, and um, to his credit, I thought he pulled guys in and together. Instead of when something doesn't go our way, we're not together. And I thought he really, 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 we went through a little stretch where we went together, but then at the end, he, he was kind of helping lead, which is hard for a rookie to do. And he's got a good mind on it. They played a great game. And lastly, um, Avery Bradley, does it kind of seem like he's had some offensive just, you know, growth and development to his game in the last few years? Maybe comfort. Yeah, he's, he's, getting, he's getting a lot better. We've talked about this, I think. But I think he's got, he can improve, but he can double his improvement. Uh, yeah, I just think he can always, I think he's got a steep, steep curve here. Um, I think he can always get better. I think he's working to get better. Um, I thought today was one of his better defensive games. The play he made defensively to challenge the Rosen shot at the end of the game when they went ISO on the side out, fantastic. Um, and then we had a lot of those plays from individuals, but I thought his was particularly impressive. Brad, obviously uh, it was a tough start to the fourth quarter there for 18 for a run by the Raptors. Yeah, one um, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Just the ability, you already referenced the camping now, but just defensively just to kind of, you know, Quoting them to stops down the stretch there, how much of them, that was a nice, refreshing game of to see. You know, that, that's about having a mindset that no matter what, we're not going to let them score. So no matter what's going on on the other end, you're not going to you're going to do everything you can to not let them score. And they got some on us early, the transition baskets, and then they got some three-point play opportunities late. But part of that was because Novak was in the game and we were so concerned with the three-point line. Um, but for the most part, I thought our we, we were more locked in um, in that regard at the end of this game than we have been. So. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with this possibly being uh, the last game without Rondo in the lineup, how important was it to break the streak beforehand, let the guys kind of establish it? It's not like you need Rondo to come in and be someone to receive, or that the guys in place even without him are still very capable of being involved. You know, listen, if Rondo comes back Friday and 
still hasn't been, I still haven't been told yes or no, right? But if he comes back Friday, he's only going to play 18 to 20 minutes. So, and he's coming back and playing for the first time in the year. So for any of us to expect him to be playoff form is not fair to him. That being said, I think his energy and his leadership will lift our team. Um, but, uh, but I don't, I don't think we should we should put too much on the shoulders, anyways. Uh, whether we've won the last game or lost the last game, Coach, uh, just along those same lines, how much does it help when you have guys who have stepped in and, and contributed in, in positive ways, like Bill Pressey at the point, knowing that you're going to get Rondo back, but you don't want to put too much pressure. Yeah, and I'm, I just thought, you know, Phil has had a tendency in certain games to change the pace of the game, and he did again tonight. Um, in a lot of ways for us. And so, you know, he's going to be a critical component of our team this year, and, and, and I think that's a really good thing. You know, I think he, he gives us a nice boost. He's a great person. He's extremely easy to coach. And, um, you know, he wants to play as well as he can. And today, you know, they have 10 assists and no turnovers in your first start. It's pretty good. And just a follow up. Uh, Gerald Wallace offers. There was a stretch where his energy was pretty. He was great. Having all over the court, it seemed. He was great. He was great. And I, I think you know he, he wanted to play well. Um, but he was really good. He got into the ball. He got he got he dove on the one ball he didn't get, and then he stole the next pass. You know he's just kind of flying around all over the place. So that was nice to see. Brad, where does Jared's three right here, Brad? Sorry, I'm on. Um, where does Jared's rebounding performance tonight rank in the games that you've watched in your lifetime? Tommy? Probably not as good as his. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. I mean, it was great. He did a great job. 25 and 20 is a great night. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's not close to the record books around here. <laughs> what makes him such a great rebounder? Uh, tonight he was active and aggressive and assertive and going after the ball. Um, that's number one. Uh, high motors are always made for great rebounders. But then number two is he's quicker off the floor than people would think. Um, and he's got he, he's got outstanding hands. I mean, outstanding hands. Um, and, and he always has had that. Um, but I'm, I'm impressed with his ability to rebound at this level. I, I wasn't sure that when I watched him play growing up, that he'd be able to do that the same. And it's translated at every level for him. One question, Greg. Would Rondo have been available in an emergency situation? Well, we were <laughs> we were up three with no timeouts trying to get the ball inbound. <laughs> and the, one of the best passers in the, in the world sitting right next to me, and I didn't put him in, so no, he would not have been. I told uh, Jay Laranega he was next. And Walter was right after him, depending on what we needed. So uh, that's the way we were going to roll tonight. Those guys were kind of excited about it. <laughs> Thank you.